Um, how much does DA affect performance, and do you consider this when making a tune used globally? Uh, we do consider it. It is part of, um, you know, part of the considerations when we're when we're developing the software. Um, I mean, DA is going to affect performance. Your the amount of air you can pump into the motor per yeah. stroke is reduced. Um, the amount of work the turbo or the supercharger yeah. has to do to get that air into the motor is you know greater. So yeah. And with that said, when it comes to the driving experience, it's going to be pretty tough to notice big, huge differences. Yeah, it's. I mean, unless you're getting you know. Uh, really up there in altitude um we do cap things like you know turbo speeds and whatnot so well, and there's so that it's can it's it is a consideration on the turbo cars yeah. um i mean it's certainly at uh six thousand feet there's going to be a noticeable difference yeah. than sea level but that's going to be on couple every single car couple I mean, thousand yeah, yeah, yeah. Couple, couple thousand feet here and there is not a big deal yeah. um do you want to explain to you um uh, basically density altitude yeah it's it's, it's the it's, density of the air yeah yeah so you know uh, if, if you think about, uh, you know, PSI is pounds per square inch. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you think about one square inch and just think about a column that goes into outer space. So if you go 100, 200 miles out from Earth, there's basically no air, right? And so the density of air, you know, 30 miles from Earth is pretty much zero because there's just no air. Now imagine all that air coming down to the ground, that air at the bottom gets squished by all the air above it, um, you know, and, and so that is the 14, approximately 14.7 PSI or 14.5 PSI that's pushing down on us. And we don't notice it because we've uh, been created in this yep. one bar, one so barometric if you, if, if you want, If you want a pressure. rapid example of it, um, dive into the bottom of a deep swimming pool. That's right. It's, so it's the it's, same thing. It's going to be the same thing. Your right. water pressure is going to increase just like your yeah. air pressure would. So when you're, when you're 20 feet down and you feel that pressure, you know, there's a column of water above your eardrums pushing on your ears. Yep. And, uh, and so, that, so that's what the air density is. So when you go to 5,000 feet, there's just less air. There's less air above you. There's less pressure. Um, so that does mean that less air gets... Yep. Uh, sucked or forced into the motor. Um, now, um, you know, what, what I mean, though, like, they, like in California, there's drag racing and, and you could go to the same track on different days and have d different, you know, DAs. Yes. So whether, yeah, whether it's based on barometric it's, pressure, it's, we're talking density. Yeah. So it, it also yeah, includes temperature, air temperature, humidity. So uh, when air is cooler, it's more dense. When air is hotter, it's, it's less dense. Yep. So, you know, you, you may go to the, the dra drag strip one day and you might run a 11.1 and you might go to the next day and you might run a 10.9. Now, you know, can, can you, you know, can the average person be put in a car? The difference between an 11.1 and a 10.9 is, is pretty tough to, to decipher from like, uh, like if you run or if you ran five runs, you'd have a hard time knowing which one exactly was the fastest. So I'm, I'm, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Like the time the, theft, or, yeah, if you're you recording time, they're just... it's not a huge difference. But but to answer the question is, it is calculated in all of our tuning because the, the car has a barometric yeah. pressure sensor and lots of modeling in the software yeah. to determine what what the, the the pressure or density of the air is. So it is accounted for. It's just it's it's pure physics. Uh, a nine eleven. A brand new 911 Turbo is going to be faster at sea level than it is in Denver, Colorado. So, um, 